Wow. <laughs> what a beautiful night, Sam. What a beautiful night. <laughs> Did you see that, Sam? It's like a comet or something. Right across the sky. Ooh. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, good evening, Mrs. Hedgerow. Nice night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Nice, uh, nice night. <laughs> oh, okay. She must not have heard of Sam. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. What is going on up there? Oh, oh. Galveston up to his old tricks. Oh. Come on, Sam, let's go in. He's probably burning the house down at this rate. I don't know. Galveston, what's going on? Well, I don't know, do I? It's just zooming around up there. Hold on, so it's not you? What is it? Do I look like some sort of spookologist or something? How am I supposed to know? That's weird. It's like there's something up in the cavern. We never thought to look up, I guess, but... Oh, my glasses. Huh. Ah, there we go. Huh. I can see now. No, I still can't see it, though, Galveston. It's really high up there. It's causing a lot of static electricity or, or something. This is not the way I wanted to spend this Halloween. Well, I tell you what, Galveston, to take our minds off of it and just to relax a little in the spirit of the season and all that, why don't we watch a movie? I think you're a fool. Oh, come on, you. It's the one night of the year where all the spirits and the evil things come out to play. I thought you'd like that. Well, I've got an idea, Galveston. We'll let the creature under the stairs decide. Hey, creature under the stairs. <laughs> hey, hey, hi. I don't know, have you got a film that kind of fits in with the Halloween night? You know, something with ghouls, goblins, monsters, something classic, but also, I don't know, kind of oddly refreshing, but then also kind of oddly nostalgic again. Anything like that? Mm -hmm. You do? Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Uh, oh. I don't know about this one. So we're gonna watch the Frankenstein theory. Frankenstein Theory! Hooray! It's got a cool holographic front cover though. I don't know if you can see that. Well, it's it's almost a contemporary movie. We've not really done one of these on the show before, Galveston, but I mean, well, you know, in the season of the spirit of the night, I guess. Let's have a look. What if the most chilling novel of all time was actually based on a true account of a horrific experiment gone awry? What if? Uh, I, I, when he is suspended from his university job for his outlandish ideas, Professor John Vankenhelm leads a documentary film crew to the rim of the Arctic Circle in desperate efforts to vindicate his academic reputation. His theory? Mary Shelley's ghastly story, Frankenstein, is, in fact, a work of non-fiction disguised as fantasy. And if you're wondering, hey, is this a found footage film? Yes. Yes, it is. So, one way or the other, Galveston, this is going to be a horrific experience, I think. Uh, I can't wait to, to watch this movie with you. What do you think? I think you're a fool. <laughs> I know I can trust you. And as always, folks, here's the horror trope list. So, if Galveston gets all of those things ticked off his list, the film goes into the pit, and I lose that film forever. But, if he doesn't, I get to keep the film, and it stays in my collection for the rest of time! <laughs> Got that? I'm gonna carve out the pumpkin, Galveston, you get the kettle on, creature under the stairs, you're in charge of the hobnobs. Let's do this thing, it's Halloween, baby, and it's time for Dr. Frankenstein to meet his maker. Roll VT! Oh, 
hold on a minute. I read this on the DVD. This didn't happen. It's not real. Oh, well, of course not, Galveston. But, you know, it is a big trope out there in, in, in found footage movies where they had to start with the opening narration, a bit of a, a bit of a paragraph about how this movie was found and... You know, I don't know, was was edited for 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 narrative clarification, stuff like that, just to try and, you know, make it seem more real. Even though it isn't. Clearly. You know, real. You humans are weird. This is the lead scientist. This is the guy with the big theory. Yeah, Mr. Van can help himself, apparently. He's like 13 years old, Galveston. All you humans look alike to me. Not cool. Uh, oh, whatever. I mean, not even a little old age makeup. Just a bit. Ten years old, and uh, since then the subject of those letters has been the focal point of my whole life. Yeah, this guy needs a real hobby. Or a girlfriend. One of the two. Oh, well, we, when I'm not reading ancient pages from a book about creating a Frankenstein-type monster, I like what everybody else likes. You know, long walks on the beach, the sound of crinkling old leaves under my feet. You know, the little things. Uh, and also creating Frankenstein monsters. Yeah. This film so far feels more like an episode of The American Office than an actual, you know, found footage film. I'm saying it's a work of non-fiction disguised as fiction, or, 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 or more accurately... It's, uh, <gasps> Frankenstein's it's monster's actually the Mothman. Oh, come on, movie. We're not really doing this, are we? Come on now. Can I talk to you, please? I mean, I'm not even sure if this is like a comedy horror film or a found footage movie that's supposed to be taking itself seriously. And there's an awful lot of swearing. Hi. Hi. My name is Brian. I run sound on the documentary film crew and our latest... <laughs> I'm not as funny as I think I am. And I'm obnoxious. <laughs> I think the film's going to mess this up all by itself. You know what I'm saying? High five me. Pension between Jonathan and Anne over Jonathan's theory. Because it's really stupid or... So he'll probably die alone, right? The actual creator was Johann Wankenheim. He was my grandfather. That's, That's a, a photo. photo! Nothing! <laughs> it sucks because it means no matter how much evidence I collect, no matter how much data I collect... Oh, well, I guess nobody likes my world map display. <laughs> I spent ages on it as well, and no one's even saying, oh, well done, great job. Not a, not a thing. So, hold on, has he actually got evidence to prove that his great-grandfather actually invented the Frankenstein monster, or not? No, the answer's no, hence the film crew being there. Oh. What? That's about it. Jonathan is obsessed with this bullshit theory. And the most supportive you know, girlfriend I award know. goes to... I mean, you know, I hate to agree with the angry girlfriend, but she's absolutely correct on all of this. She's the only sane one in this entire film. I believe and I want to thank everybody here for being a part of it. So thanks. And cheers. Here's to our inevitable deaths. Cheers. Taking a crackpot professor, professor, and a bunch of amateur journalists Deep into the Arctic to find a dangerous monster? What could go wrong? Of course, if that wasn't the case, then there wouldn't be a movie. So, great. Okay, guys. You sure got a pretty mouth. I bet I can make you squeal like a piggy. Hi, Carl. Meanwhile, on the set of Evil Dead and Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the lifestyles of Ed Gein. Would be once we get a fire going. Oh yeah, oh yeah, great idea. Where are we gonna get the wood? Yeah, the uh, oh. Oh. Yeah. I'm so not a red herring. Cut to the scene from Avalanche. Hello, Bigfoot. Hello, Bigfoot. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Frankenstein. Yeah, that's less silly. Echo. Echo. Oh, Jesus. When the creature migrated into Canada, into the Arctic. Uh, vegetation would have been very sparse. Well, yeah, seeing as you're just Especially pulling stuff out of your boat, then, then sure, why not? There's more maps in this movie than the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy. You know, this film's frustrating me in so many ways, not to mention there's nothing on the list yet, human. I am not happy about this one. In the summertime, and then he moves south. 
as the weather gets colder. Well, come on, Gavison, give it a chance. It might yet surprise you. Uh, well, I think it makes sense. Predator after the caribou. I'm so lonely. <laughs> I'm drunk. I used to have ambitions. Oh, you know what? I've had enough. That's going on the list. I don't want any arguments. Hey, no, fair enough, Galveston. You get this one. <gasps> Quick! It's nothing! Run! Hold on. Is this to say nothing from that, uh, uh, what's it called? Never ending story film? And also, that should count as tripping in the woods. Oh, what the hell, Gal? Go, go for it. Surely one out of five isn't bad odds, right? Oh, I'm never lending you money. But I don't want to go. You guys suck. We can always get another guide. God. Let him stay here. Hold on, where did, where did that hat come from? Galveston, did you, where did the hat just come from? It came from nowhere. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. even notice. We have no Where did that hat come from? I, to be honest, I don't even think I could... Oh, wow, yeah, brilliant. It's almost as if it was a bad idea to get a group of amateurs together to go on a mountaineering expedition to go and hunt for a wild animal that you have no idea what you're doing and no expertise in. <gasps> What's wrong with me? Wrong with me? I'm a D-grey actor in the Arctic, living my best life, freezing my ass off. It's dead. We leave right now. Oh, we're dead too. Well, that's a turn up for the books, isn't it? What do you want to do? Go after this? Leaving, not leaving, leaving. Make up your mind, man. We wait for help. He'll either calm down or he'll leave. Oh man, but what if he ends up eating all the porridge and then sleeping in my bed? You know he never makes the bed in the mornings. Oh come on now, that's a cheesy sound effect as well. I'm on a winner here. Oh, I just wish there was some sort of night vision sequence. Oh, there you go. Great. Uh, excuse me, I'm lost in the woods. I just need your help. <laughs> Hello, Bigfoot. Oh, sorry. I mean, Frankenstein's monster. Because that's less silly, isn't it? Why do they keep running off like that? And this is where we find our final girl hiding out in a shack. And I don't blame her, I hate cold callers too. Uh, excuse me, you've, you've left your door open. You're going to let all the heating out. This is just a weird ending, isn't it? Oh, I don't know about you, Galveston, but there's nothing I love more than seeing the heroic hero sweeping the lady off her feet and carry her into the sunset. <laughs> I love happy endings. Arty, Galveston. I think the term is arty. <laughs> if you say so. If you so, that was the Frankenstein theory, and what did I think? Well, you know, it's got to be said, there was a bunch of these kind of films made way back in, like, the very late 90s to early 2000s. It was when found footage really became a thing. After the movie, the last broadcast kind of almost created the genre, and if you haven't seen that film, I'd suggest checking it out. It's pretty creepy. But then, obviously, the Blair Witch Project hit theatres, and that kind of exploded uh, found footage movies to the general populace. And... I, I've always been a big fan of these movies, but the only thing is there's a billion of them out there. Obviously, because it's so easy to make, you just grab a camcorder, get a couple of friends, run out into the woods, shake some leaves and trees about, and you've got a movie. And so there's like a billion of these, and they all follow a very, very base formula. And let's be honest, there are, there's an awful lot of crap out there. An awful lot of crap. But... Every now and again, you get one of these rare gems where a found footage film takes its subject seriously and delivers a very engrossing experience. That is not the Frankenstein theory, however. The Frankenstein theory follows the base formula. It's a very cheap, low budget special effects. It's out in the wilderness, so it keeps it nice and cheap. Um, and there's just very small amounts of jump scares. And then right at the very, very end, you get to see just a tiny glimpse of a creature. 
because obviously then that that saves on on, on makeup effects and, and special makeup effects and things like that so this is an incredibly interesting premise again it's frankenstein what if the frankenstein monster was real and they, some people went out to the woods to hunt it down what would happen and in some respects there's certain parts of this film some dialogue sequences and character bits that are really interesting and actually got really engrossed but then as again it just falls into that low budget bottom of the barrel found footage movie bin uh, and does nothing different than many 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 other movies unfortunately so this is not a high recommend from me i think it's probably going to be something like a two out of five stars and that's me being pretty generous i would hope for something more but unfortunately it is just a very basic simple cheap uh, found footage movie of no real note so what did you think alveston well i think i should kill you for making me watch this movie <laughs> oh trick or treat i guess right <laughs> Well, anyway, Galveston, let's look at the scores. Oh, shocker. <laughs> yes, another victory uh, for me. I'm so lonely. Anyway, Galveston. Whoa, did you see it? What was that? Come on, Galveston, we've got to go hunt this thing down. You go that way, I'll go that way. Oh, hold on. Ha, <laughs> yeah, now we're talking, baby. Yeah, you go that way, I'll go that way. We've got to, whoa, we're going to catch this. Whoa, we're going to catch this thing, yeah. Happy Halloween, everyone. Ha-ha! <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm.